Welcome back to C Block. And before we get started with today's episode, I just want to make a brief announcement. If you're watching this as soon as it comes out, which you should be, why aren't you not? Why you know what? Why are you watching this three months later? I told you. Anyway, if you're watching this when it first comes out, know that Satisfactory has a huge update which will be coming out probably about the same time as this video. Unfortunately, since I don't get access to it before all of you, I can't prepare a video of it ready for you to watch as it comes out. So, like the rest of you, I will be getting it tomorrow night from me. Uh, right about right now for you as long as, as long as there's no delays. So, big update. Update 3 has a whole bunch of new machines, a whole bunch of changes to the game, and lots of different stuff that we're going to explore together. So if you like the Satisfactory series, watch out for it um, tomorrow. And of course, that means, means if you're a subscriber, you will get new episode notifications if you click on the bell to get notified. I normally say that at the end of videos, but just in case you're looking forward to that update, well, now you know. Okay, so let's get started today with Factorio, and we have to combine our silicon and our plastic, and we have to get into transistors. So here we get silicon. Uh, those are going to be combined into transistors like this, which means I basically need to get a little bit of um, a little bit of research done and think about maybe somewhere that combines all of these. And we can just think of putting them into a building for now and uh, building that up later. So I've put these onto a belt, but that's not going to be... I, you know, we're not, we're not going to want to do that. Uh, we want it inside a building, aren't we? So let's just build... Oh, pull this back for a second. And uh, let's get our building down. Uh, there's about right. Yes. Or is it there? Uh, let's just drag ourselves across there. Okay. And uh, that means I can just basically hook this up to power, just like we normally would. And then we should end up with everything we need. So let's just see what we do there. Connect everything on the inside. And there is going to be our plastic. So if I just grab some of the plastic and we'll just dump it outside. It doesn't really much matter. Yeah, it's going to go inside. There we go. OK, fine. So we've got plastic coming in. And as far as uh, silicon coming in, well, why don't I just bring it onto this side so that we have all the inputs onto the same side. So around you go. And I'm going to bring it to the bottom. There we go. So we've got silicon, got plastics. Now we're going to need some other stuff. The other stuff we're going to need is going to be uh, basically tin and copper. Now we've got a choice. We can either divert tin and copper from around about here, which is perfectly fine. Uh, or we can do it later. We can get some extra materials. Now, the materials we're going to be making for this is just tin cobble wire. And we do already make it in a few factories. You see here we've got this line, which basically outputs it. And it outputs it to a point where uh, it's been directly inserted over here. Okay, so we can, uh, if we had outputs, we can actually get this to be l l leaving here, probably by the top and then brought out and around. I think I'm going to do that for now and we'll see how well this goes longer term. So to get that done, we're just going to get a inserter and I'm going to basically tell it to um, just go here. OK, and we'll go up and around back on itself. And then we're going to just basically have an underground belt here. There we go. And uh, let's feed this out. So uh, anywhere we'll do, let's just put it here for now. There we go. Yep. And then we can basically get this inserter to pick up and drop. So pick up is to left, drop is top, and off it then goes. It's going to pop at the top, and then we can decide where we want to put it. And it's going to be going this way. That should be coming out pretty soon. And of course, we'll do the usual thing of having that go underground uh, across everything else, really. Um, let's just maybe get ourselves. Do we have anything at the mall? The mall is not processing. Oh, in fact, is that going to be? No, that's just regular copper cable. Uh, why isn't this working? Where is all of the iron? Oh, is that power? My, is my power? My, why is my power dead? <laughs> Did I break my power? Uh, yeah, we have no, we have no, we have no, um, fuel down here. Why don't we have any fuel? Uh, what have I broken? Uh, well, I've purposely broken this building because we don't have any wood coming and that's perfectly fine. I know that much. What about this one? Why is there nothing coming out of this one? Um, well, 
we've got sort of a feedback situation where they can't process fast enough. That's what we've actually got in this building. Yeah, it's basically run out of <laughs> it's run out of fuel. And the same thing here. This is going to be charcoal, and this is also run out. You see how just how slow everything is moving. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of an issue to sort. But I can lay everything out in the meantime, and um, we'll get that sorted. You know, regardless, it'll just take me a little while to figure everything out, and that does mean. I need to basically manually craft stuff. Stone. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need stone. And where are you? I uh, should be in there. Okay. And I'm just going to get all of this connected over to this other building. And then we'll go back and fix the power. And the easiest way to resolve the power problem is just to add a splitter here with an output uh, priority the other way so that any spare wood gets brought down here along with everything else and it's just going to dump, be dumped back down at the bottom of our factory. Later on I'll just build a separate building that will actually just uh, keep everything nicely separated but for now that's going to start everything back up which is going to start all of this processing up to produce even more of the fuel and uh, I had some in my inventory so I was able to jump start everything over here. You see it's building back but that's because I jump started it and manually fed stuff into the boilers so they are continuing as before. And that's no doubt why plastics is slow because, well, <laughs> yeah, we were out of power. Uh, so now that should be starting to, whoops, wrong, wrong building. Uh, that should be starting to increase again. And let's just see, let's go and look in our red green science building. Uh, well, we have a couple of issues. Uh, mainly we're short of iron. Yeah, so iron is coming through, but we have a little bit here. So why don't I just jump start that? And that will start green off. And then uh, this again, iron for this as well. They're all going to need the same thing, pretty much. There it goes. It's going to start making those again. And I'm just going to dump uh, some of these in as well. And just get that started. And then hopefully we're going to get our research done. So plastics and then on to whatever the next thing was to actually get, which is the transistors research, I think. Is there anything else in the way other than that? Transistors? Uh, oh, can't do that. OK, fine. If you won't find it, I'll go via silicon. Transistors, transistors, uh, I need plastics and I need resin one. Other than, other than that, that's just 50 and 200 for plastics. 50 for this and then another 200. So 450 red and green science. Okay. And while that's slowly recovering, our, our research is actually carrying on. I've got to do with this sort of uh, issue here, whereby we've got lots and lots and lots of silicon or which is piling back and it's basically polluting the lines down here and we can't get any tin out of the system. So there's a few ways of solving that. The simplest one is to just go for something like a warehouse or something like a box. In fact, a box will probably do the job and uh, we can basically separate it out a lot sooner than you might think. Uh, although a box is still going to be a problem because of the amount of silicon ore that we go for. So maybe a warehouse would actually be better longer term anyway. And we just have a large capacity here. So I need some iron plates. And of course, iron plates are things in short supply because the, the factory's only just started back up again after being well, effectively being off. So let's get a warehouse. Uh, is there any other way of solving this? Well, yeah, other buffers will work as well. But uh, this one will get us started really quite easily. And, you know, we can always replace it later and move it around. It's not too hard to actually do. So uh, where's my warehouse? Uh, my warehouse is in my inventory somewhere. There it is. Uh, so we need to basically get that going in here. So let's just grab one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, six will do. And then, of course, we can use loaders if we want to do that uh, sort of somewhat, somewhat seamlessly instead of using inserters, but they're more expensive to do that. So let's just do inserters. OK, and on the output, you can either keep things like this or we can indeed just go straight to uh, straight to separated belts and I'll just delete this one. Uh, yep, there should be room there. OK, and we can just go to the sort of filter inserters that we already have the ability to craft. We'll just craft two of them, uh, one here and one here. And then we can just configure them as before. So this one is going to be tin ore. Uh, tin ore. Is that nickel? Tin ore? Yeah, tin ore. And this one's going to be silicon ore, well, of course. 
and there they go they just end up being separated and uh, you can separate them out however you want for the moment this is going to work fine if you want them to work faster then you're going to need a faster inserter there or just go straight to a loader uh and can we actually make a loader i do like how they go into warehouses uh <laughs> i'm going to need more steel plate yep we're short of steel uh can we have enough of that is there enough here one loader there is let's just make one and then i'll just replace this and it just take up two room but other than that one two three and there's a loader coming up coming up shortly there it goes okay and then of course it proceeds at full speed which of course is its advantage rather than uh, dealing with inserters so this is going to continue to pile up with silicon but that shouldn't drop uh, that shouldn't stop bit of processing uh, basically tin ore and we'll just drop that tin ore in there as well and that will continue to feed outwards and of course that will then start everything reprocessing which will start then uh, continuing to work through do we, have, we don't have any sort of blockages with the uh, tin uh, sorry not the tin the iron and copper doesn't look like it that looks to be always be fine so yep yeah, let's just wait for it to catch up at this stage in the game, and I'm still waiting for plastics to finish, by the way, uh, you want to start exploring. You want to go and get a bunch of land, and I ended up with about 8,000 that's just coming off the um, the existing lines at the end, you know, where we're producing lots of crushed stone. A lot of it's being converted now into land so we can afford to explore. And you see I've headed north here. I'm looking for temperate trees. There's desert trees. There's some biters. Oh, they're, well, small worms. Uh, yes, and, um, yeah, I don't want to mess with those right now. I don't really have anything other than a pistol and a firearm magazine. But keep on heading out, and you should eventually get to temperate stuff. So I've headed north. There's a temperate garden. I expect your resources, so let's just, uh, why can't I reach that? I should be able to reach it. Is it not going to let me, <laughs> let me touch that? Um, yeah, okay, is long reach disabled? Let's just take a look at this. Settings. Mod settings per player. Sometimes this has problems uh, in that you have to just basically go in here and let's just say several one or something like that. Doesn't really much matter. Sometimes it does not let me do what I think. Resume. No, it's definitely not going to allow me to get to that. On here, however, we should have a temperate tree. Yeah, so we can get close enough. And then you can see on the right hand side, we're going to get 100 wood, but we're also going to get temperate uh, stuff. One well, we wood, one temperate tree. Temperate tree is really important for resin. So resin back here, we can make it in a bunch of different ways, but it's all liquid resin at the end of the day. That's where we get multiple things. You can go down a gas route to actually create this, so you can use urea and formaldehyde, but you can also make raw bioresin, um, ethanol, and we've already made ethanol, if you remember. I just need a couple of research things that we need uh, a fairly cheap amount of research actually to get done. So raw bioresin is then temperate tree seeds and only temperate tree seeds. That's the important part. You can't make this with desert tree seeds we've already made. So you're going to want to go and collect at least one. And then you're going to have a building ready, probably producing more wood. Now, remember when I wanted that extra wood building down at the very bottom of the area? Well, this is a good point to actually get that because we're going to be getting trees out of this and of course trees we can turn into wood with saw blades just as we previously have however we do need um basically to get this started so to get temperate tree seeds we can uh we can get that straight from soil and water as long as we have a temperate tree seed generator and that's the thing that we need uh the temperate tree for we need electronic circuits we need stone bricks iron pipe steel plate and temperate tree so that should be something uh unless i can oh, can i actually handcraft this temper uh temperate tree seed generator yes we can uh so yep yeah, that can go in my inventory and then we can just dump the building down here for now and let's just put it uh around about there something like that and we'll get another power hooked up okay and then just as before we did the other wood building this one is actually sort of running out of wood as well uh yeah things need to be backed up a little well it's backed up it's just not backed up on both sides as yet that's fine but then we'll be able to cut off all this sort of belt leading down from the top here and have an entirely different building. So what we're going to do with this is I'm just going to take... Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to take a blueprint of this. It seems to be straightforward and I haven't had any problems with this layout. So we'll take that. Call it um, wood generation. Okay. 
and I'll just put that in my inventory for now. Go and put it into the building and then we'll lay it out again so that we can start making wood down there. But this time with temperate trees. And our new building's now in place. We can take the mud from this old factory that we previously had supplied in the previous mud, uh, wood factory, which is right here. And just from a sort of point of view, I actually moved it down here just in case we need some more outputs. Uh, so down here, it's the same layout as we normally expected. We are going to be changing this as soon as this uh, sort of research completes. But for now, it's just producing wood or capable of producing wood, I should say, just like before. Uh, we just have to wait for everything to start processing. This is going to wait for compost and tree seeds. And that's going to be supplied, uh, I would imagine. Uh, in fact, that should already be being supplied. Why are you not being supplied? Uh, yeah, you're not feeding in from here. Why not? Are you just, are you just ghosts? You are ghosts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Helps if you actually build the inserter's grave rather than just uh, looking at them. So in they go, and that's going to start producing trees. Going to get chopped into wood as before, and around it goes, and around out this side. Of course, we can then feed that, at least temporarily, back into uh, this line over here. So it's going to feed out onto second to bottom. So that can go from here, and then up and around. Uh, we can decide where to put that later, but I'm just going to put it here for now. It's going to look ugly until I rearrange, but for now it is going to work. And I don't even need uh, the, the fast version of this, uh, just to get it going. Okay, and that's got some bits and pieces to sort out. Uh, in fact, let's just put... Now yeah, we won't even need that. No, we, re we really won't need that at all. In fact, what I'm probably going to do is just join this here, because this is going to be relatively low by comparison to everything else. So. All the mods are going to come down in here and it's going to start processing. Uh, that should be fairly soon be processing. Uh, there it goes. There are the trees. So that's going to be produced into wood very shortly. Anyway, more research being needed. Uh, pretty much now, both on resin and on um, transistors, we're both waiting on research. And with the fermentation process finishing, we can then move on a little bit, if we wanted to, to the Temperate Tree Arboretum. We are going to need some other things, though. Remember when I said we need raw bioresin? That's going to need this Temperate Tree Arboretum for sure. Ethanol, however, is the other thing we need, and that's, thankfully, this research we've just done. So let's just get this on the go. So we want Temperate Tree Arboretum. Start the research. Let's go and take a look back at ethanol. Now, you may remember we've been producing gas in the previous episode, I think. Uh, so let's just get that going there. There we go. In here, you see this whole process. Gases are going. So we have um, ethane, butane, and methane. On the other side of this, we've got methanol. That's not ethanol. Uh, the two, uh, you definitely don't want to mix those two up. Uh, in case you're wondering, methanol is the thing that makes you go blind when people make bad moonshine. Because uh, ethanol should be produced and methanol does... Uh, well, you, you always get a little bit of methanol, but normally it's taken off when things are processed properly. I think, I think it's the first thing that comes off. So that gets taken off, thrown away, or reused in some other way. And then you get the alcohol coming through, basically. Um, and uh, yes, uh, that, uh, that, that causes blindness. Uh, <laughs> If you drink methanol. So yes, please don't don't make moonshine unless you know exactly what you're doing. Uh, and uh, I definitely do not. So there's no way I'm going to do that. Anyway, back on to this topic. Uh, we need to make methanol. Um, yes. And uh, that is going to be made into resin. Thankfully, no foodstuffs. So we need to make ethanol, which comes from fermentation base. Fermentation base can be made from any... Well, it's in this case, it just says fruits or corn. But basically, anything with sugar in it, uh, we're going to basically take that and ferment it. Fermentation can happen in a liquefier or a chemical plant. Liquefier is obviously cheaper in terms of power. Uh, but that means we need to get fruits from somewhere. And in this case, we want zelo squash uh, if we want desert farming. Or we can get it from Quilnoa if we have temperate farming. Or indeed, um, mush red... <laughs> Mush potato. if we have swamp farming. Uh, we're going to probably want to go for desert farming, and that's going to compete, compete with this. Uh, and that's going to need some other research first. So agricultural planning. I'm just wondering whether that should, should be agricultural planning, not planning. Um, yeah. In any case, uh, that is just uh, red science. This one is uh, red and... Oh, no, that's not green science. <laughs> no, that's not green science. That is Optimized Biome Planner. 
Uh, that I thought was green. Biome. No, we can't actually make that yet. That's interesting. Yeah, here it is. Uh, yeah, we need to be able to make this. Gets us a few different things, but it's just red to actually get it. So fine, no problem. Uh, can't really avoid that one. I'm going to have to make this. Anyway, going back onto the topic. Ethanol is what we want to make, not methanol. Sorry, miles away. And that comes from fermentation base, which comes from fruits. And fruits we're going to make with zealous squash, and that's going to be desert farming. So the desert farming gets all these different things that we can make, and basically a farm. So you'll generally have to feed them water, and of course the, the various, I think it's the seeds as well, if I remember rightly. Uh, so zealous squash comes out with 12 fruits and cellulose fiber, and zealous squash themselves uh, comes from your basic farm or farm with desert upgrade. And it looks like we can loop this back. So we get five zealous squash seeds, and we get five dormant zealous squash seeds back, which we can turn into uh, yet more zealous squash seeds back through a seed extractor. Okay. So to do any of that while the research is going, we're going to need to head off and head, I think, to get desert gardens. And I think there's one here. Yeah, there's one there. Uh, desert garden and there's also temperate gardens as well you can find them all over the place uh, i'm just going to be able to pick this one up one desert garden and uh, should be in my inventory somewhere yeah there it is desert garden and we'll just be able to do that yeah desert garden desert garden desert garden so we can just pick all them up and we can convert them into various seeds of course there's another one over there uh, I'll have to tidy this up later, but for now, there we go. We can get to them. We're still not quite close to the biters. They're just off screen there. So we've still got quite a bit of room before we encounter them. And there we've got six desert gardens. Again, if you started with temperate area, you shouldn't. I think you should start with the same one that I start in. So they should be around fairly easily to get hold of at this stage. We've got enough land to actually expand outwards. And while I'm continuing to do so, you can see on the map here, between the episodes, or indeed between the clips of the episodes. Fine, so that's the, near the temperature arboretum done. We'll get the uh, that, that side of things done, and then we'll start researching the gardens and the farms. And there we go, that's now complete. So we should just be able to go and research the other thing, which is ethanol, fermentation base, fruits. So we want desert farming, which means we need agricultural planning, first of all. I'm sure that's going to be planning. So we'll get that going. In the meantime, we can get on with, uh, and that's going to be going pretty quickly because it's uh, red science. We can get on with converting this building over to basically the temperate tree. Uh, so temperate uh, tree seed generator. So we're going to need temperate trees, but I should have already got one of those. Oh, wait, I used it. I used it to make that. Yeah, I've already got a seed generator. Good. Whew. Okay, so that should have a new recipe in it. It does. So instead of uh, the, just a gener generic tree seed, we can use the same ingredients to make temperate tree seeds. Okay, and then we're just going to pick these up just to stop them being used or stop stuff being used. And I'm just going to basically grab that there. Okay, and then we're going to want to see what we need in here. So resin to raw bioresin and temperate tree seeds. So we're going to make that using a temperate tree seed generator. Yes, that's exactly what this is producing or should be producing very shortly. And then that means we can combine it just in the Jerry uh, Arboretum, and that's fine. So I can actually have just put them back down. I didn't need to pick them up. I thought we were just going to change them over. Um, that is going to be changed over. We're just at a different recipe. So instead of four trees, we get two trees and two raw bioresin out. Okay. Off that now goes. And on this side, we've got to be a bit careful with the output. All the outputs come here, so we're going to need to... Uh, decide what we want to do with the raw bioresin. We're going to process it in here. I don't think we have the room, to be honest. I think we're going to need to bring that out somewhere else. So we do have room for that just here. If we just put a filter in place. Okay, and uh, we're going to basically have an output priority of um, bio. Uh, let's just try for resin. <laughs> okay, it's still not a shorter list. Uh, fine. Um, is it going to be raw bioresin? Okay, let's try that then. Raw bio resin. There we go. Add priority to the right. 
Okay, there we go. So anything that comes out of here that isn't a tree will get dumped into this, which will come this way and out. Okay. And of course, I can actually build us a little bit more land down here if we want to do that. And uh, I do. So I'll just get that built out a little bit more. There we go. And now we're going to have this line. So this is going to start producing pretty shortly, I imagine. It takes a while, but that should start producing. So we've got uh, one half of resin. The other half is going to be the ethanol. So that we need to wait for. Uh, that's also spelt wrong. It's, it's spelt agri... Agricultural. Oh, oh my. <laughs> That's going to really annoy me now. Sorry. I hate, I hate seeing like something like that in game when I'm trying to talk. Anyway, ethanol gas. Uh, that's fermentation base, of course. So, yes, uh, that is something we now have the ability to do once we have desert farming itself opened up. So, we're going to need to make, base a, make a bioprocessor. And before that, we also need to make farms. And both of those are again attached to desert farming, which we'll get to very shortly after this. Uh, in fact, yes, we need to, first of all, be able to make some of these, these optimized bio planners. They're going to need um, ground samples and exploration token biotech. OK, well, let's take a look at what that actually needs. Um, ground sample is predictive scaffolding a seedling nest which we're able to make from wood bricks and paper and compost soil and water. So we have a lot of those ingredients already. Compost soil and water we've got in this existing factory right here. Uh, wood bricks and paper I do not have here. Yeah, see, we've got compost, uh, water and something else. Soil. Uh, that's all available. However, paper I do not. Hmm. However, up here on the top right, I do have the necessary thing we need to make this. So we need to make ground samples, protective scaffolding, which is wood, bricks and paper, and seedling nests uh, up here. So wood, bricks and paper, first of all, let's deal with that. So wood bricks can be made from wood pellets, wood pellets from fiber, and fiber can be made from wood. So we have a wood factory right up here at the top right, as well as this sort of... Uh, factory over here which I've got some excess pulp and everything else that I can use I just resurrected this line here this will start to make paper and then we can just basically transform this in something for quite linear so let's just get a few uh, of our sort of boring ordinary assembly machines and uh, let's just connect this up so let's just bring this up here for now and yes i'm going to make this outside i'm not going to worry about it just too much just yet i'm just going to have this feeding directly into one another uh, as we're going to be making some of the precursors and then we can put it in a building later so uh, let's just do this with direct pass through so we want wood to pulp uh, sorry fiber fiber from wood okay and let's just get the power hooked up here somewhere Yep, that'll do. And then this is going to be pellets. Okay, and uh, direct pass through. So we want some inserters, please. And then the final thing is going to be uh, taking this and getting the last ingredient, which is the wood bricks. Okay, wood bricks. And that should be done with my inserters. There we go. Let's feed all the power across. And there go the wood bricks. So let's bring across our paper and wood bricks and then we should be uh, ready to pr produce the last thing in the chain so that can go right here and uh, both of those can be fe fed in at the same time and should be okay without any further problems so that's going to feed uh, this way we get a thing here and um, what was that even called <laughs> uh protective scaffolding yeah there we go that's all connected. OK, protective scaffolding and that is being produced. This will work and this will work fine. So protective scaffolding is the first thing we need for this weird, weird green, green science. I'm not sure what we should actually call it. Sort of dirty green brown life science, maybe life science seems good. And then the other thing we need seedling nests. So we need compost, soil and water for that. So do we have something up here that actually has compost, soil, and water. So there's compost, and there's soil, and there's water. So we do have all of them. However, um, I may not want them all, like, from here. 
Uh, where can we actually do this? Uh, we have plenty of soil, it seems. So why don't we just see if we can export those um, and get them to be produced. So for that, it's going to be straight forward here. We'll just feed it from that side. And then we'll just feed the same thing from here. So let's feed that there. Hopefully this is going to work. Uh, I don't even need a speed sort of approach to this. Uh, I can just get this going here. And... Okay, so if I do that, I want them fed out into the bottom of the line here. So we'll do that. So they'll be fed onto the bottom with that one. And fed onto the top with that one. So they'll both come out into the same line, which I can feed outwards. And I should come out right here. Good. And then we'll get an underground belt. Just, just one of the basic ones. I know it's going to slow down our belt, but it doesn't really much matter. And then we're ready to feed that side of this uh, out here. So that's going to be everything we need, apart from water, of course. And water is available wherever we need it, pretty much. I've got lots of underground belt, thanks to uh, various different uh, just machines we made in the mall. I can just get that whenever I need. So we get them got the ingredients for the other half of things, which is the seedling nests. And that needs to go in an assembly machine too. A regular one will not do the job. Okay. And we'll get that made. Is there anything else that that needs? The ground sample needs both of them. And the ground sample then needs to be combined with other stuff, but we'll get to that in a minute, so that's fine. Uh, let's put this down, and it comes. Assembly machine one, assembly machine two, and there we go. So let's just feed that for now, right here. Okay, and we want, uh, is it ground sample? Yep. I think. No, sorry, seedling nest. Next thing, prior, seedling. There we go. Okay, and we can just feed in water to the top. That's going to feed everything we need onto that. And then our previous thing from here, that's now outputting. So both of those can be combined onto a belt. And uh, we can feed that up out here uh, wherever we actually want to. So that's going to work fine. And maybe we have them feeding together. Oops, together, I should... Helps if I put them the right way. Uh, and let's see. Well, this is going to fit onto the top. It's going to be the bottom. That's going to be fine. And then we just need a couple of more inserters. And probably some power poles. Okay, so there's one inserter of inserters. There is the other set. And I think I'm just going to move the power poles, actually. No, oh, I can't. I need the bottom one. Fine. Okay, so both of those are going to come around. And they're going to come into the next assembly machine, which we can now make the ground samples. So ground samples, uh, ground sample. Uh, does that need anything specific? Um, ground sample. Nope, regular, regular machines will do the job. So I'm going to need some more iron, more than likely. We'll get that put together. And we'll put them back onto a belt. I'm probably going to need more another one, but uh, let's just get them down. Okay, ground sample. Okay, that's that going, and uh, then we just need whatever remains for the other thing. So that's half of it. The other thing is Exploration Token Biotech. <laughs> that's a bit of a mouthful. Exploration... Oh, it's not going to show up. Token? Ah, okay, good. It needs to be capitalised, maybe. And that's a Temperate Garden. So a temperate garden will turn into, or with a seed extractor, 16 of these exploration token biotechs. And, uh, or we can just sacrifice one for 32. But I think I want, we're going to want the other seeds as well. Um, although they are only certain chances of those. It's not temperate garden we're going to go for, though. It's desert garden for us. So uh, we want 
Uh, we get five, but only a 10% chance of Zealous Squash Seeds. We're going to need lots of uh, Desert Gardens at this rate. So why don't I sacrifice half of them, and we'll get some of those converted then. So, uh, yeah, we're going to need... Um, what do we actually need that to, to be made in? This thing, Optimized Bio Planner, uh, Biome Planner. Nope. Optimized? Nope. Oh, it's just not going to come up. Um, why don't I just basically put down a building and see if I can select it in there. Biome. Yep. Yep, we can make it in there. Good, we can just pass it straight through. And that does the job. Yep, and then that just needs the exploration token biotech. So we need the seed extractor, I think. So seed extractor. And that looks like stuff we can make. Seed extractor. Yep, we can make lots of them. So I'm just going to make one to get started. And did I say we had six? Yeah, we had six desert gardens. So we are going to uh, just sacrifice some of those. So where's my extractor gone? There it is. Okay, that seems to be fine. Okay, and we'll just power everything up. Uh, that needs to be desert seed extraction. Desert garden. And I'm going to sacrifice three of them. And they're now processing. That's going to pass in the exploration biotech into here, at which point they're going to start making these uh, life life science. Yeah, I'm going to call it that, I think. And uh, yeah, we should be good to go. So life science and um, I think we've got bioresin done. So that's a good episode, I think, to get us finished with that. From there, we can then you're going to use that to unlock the um, the next thing. This is going to be, have to be fed back to our uh, science labs over here, but I can hand ladle them in. That's not going to be too much of an issue. So I'm going to put them into a box for now, and uh, we can just get uh, you know obviously something like this. Pick up, drop, and as soon as that gets everything it needs to, which it's taking some time. That's going to be waiting for between the episodes. That's going to produce these. They're going to go into a box where they'll go and in the meantime I could put these into a box if I wanted to to keep everything flowing but it doesn't matter we've got lots of our ingredients that we actually uh, need now and that will process into the stuff we want so uh, desert farms are the next thing up for that side of things and on down here uh, we have uh, let's just see we have certainly have enough wood coming out and there's our bio resin so next episode we need to go from here into full-on resin production that means we need to take the bio, raw bioresin. We need to get ethanol. Ethanol is going to be the fermentation base. Fermentation base is going to be made from farms, which we need to get to next. Desert farming, which of course I can start, but that doesn't help because I need uh, basically uh, 32 of these biome planners. Now remember, we've got 16 for each of them, so I should get 32, I should get 48 coming out. So you should only need two of the desert farms or you need one and sacrifice any chance of seeds. Your choice entirely. But for now, once we have the seeds, you will then slowly over time be able to get more and more of them. But you need some to actually get started. So that's going to be next episode, the farming. That's going to let us enable, get to fermentation base, which will enable us to get to uh, liquid resin, which gets us to full resin, uh, which is here. Uh, there we go with resin. The resin lets us get to rubber, but uh, more importantly, we can use it for solder. And we can use it for phenolic board and uh, all kinds of other things. The phenolic board is the thing we really want because it's part of uh, basically the circuit boards and copper, tin and ferric chloride. Remember, we already made all three of these. We couldn't make the phenolic board. So the circuit board then takes us to electronic circuit board along with transistors, which then takes us to advanced circuits. So we've got a route heading towards advanced circuits, but it does take a little few episodes to actually get to the various prerequisite stuff. Hopefully you're following along. <laughs> if you're confused or need any further explanation, anything I've not covered or anything I've made mistakes on, put them down in the comments below. Otherwise, if you've enjoyed the episode, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share if you like, and press on the bell for notifications for more episodes. Otherwise, we'll see you next episode for some more C Block. And don't forget, tomorrow for Satisfactory. As always, guys, thanks for watching.